In this lesson, we are going to prove the convergence of a geometric series. So this geometric series will converge to a over 1 minus r if the geometric ratio is between strictly between 0 and 1. Otherwise, it's going to diverge. So to prove this result, okay, we need to, we're going to start with the partial sums. Okay, so we'll prove. Okay, so the partial sums to the geometric series look like this. So we have A, okay, that's for uh, when N is 0. So we just get A times R to 0, which is A. And then for N equals to 1, we're going to get A times R. For N equals to 2, we get A R squared, and so on. Okay, so we can, um, since we're starting from zero, then we can start, we can stop at n minus one. All right, so now what we can do is multiply, uh, take r and multiply by the partial sums. So that's going to give us a times r plus a times r squared plus a times r cubed plus a times r to the fourth. And then we get, at the end, we'll get a times r to the n minus one plus the last one you see here, a times r n minus 1 times r will give us a times r to the n. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the difference. Okay. So this is going to leave us with s of n minus r times s of n. And then this is going to, okay, so these terms are going to cancel out. So that's going to leave us with a minus a times r to the n. Okay. So now we're going to get a formula for the partial sums in terms of n and then take the limit of that. Okay. So s of n, okay, so we can factor out s of n. Okay, so that means s of n is equal to a minus a times r to the n over 1 minus r. So then from here, okay, s of n, we're going to, let's see, oh, we can factor out a. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take the limit of this as n goes to infinity. Okay, so now a over 1 minus r is a constant. It doesn't depend on n, so we can go ahead and take that outside the limit. All right, so let's see, we have 1 minus r to the n. Okay, so now, all right, we need to look at this case by case. Okay, so if, okay, so if r is between, specifically if the magnitude of r is between 0 and 1, for example, let's say if r was 1 half, then when you take 1 half to infinity, that's going to go to 0. Okay. All right. So then that's going to leave, when we take the limit of this part, okay, limit of 1 minus r to the n, that's going to leave us with 1 because r is between, the, between 0 and 1. Okay. Or the magnitude of r. Okay. So that's going to leave us with the limit of this will be 1, but then we have a one a divided by 1 minus r. Okay. If, let's say, for any other r, okay, if it's strictly bigger than 1 or 
if r is less than or equal to negative 1. For example, let's say r is 2, then you get, for example, then you'll get 2 to the infinity. 2 to the infinity is infinity. Okay. All right. So anything in this, whenever r is bigger or equal to 1 or less than or equal to negative 1, when you take the limit of that as n goes to infinity, this is going to go to infinity. So this is so this is going to diverge, okay. Okay, so that diverges. All right. So then, so we prove this result. So it's going to converge, right? If r, if the magnitude of r, or in other words, if the the absolute value of r of the ratio is between zero and r, then we get convergence. Okay. All right. So that is the uh, that is the proof. Okay.